Connecticut man accused of shooting and killing his cousin faced the judge today. 31-year-old Louis Sanius was captured over the weekend after more than a week on the run. He's accused of shooting his cousin, Vincent Sebastian, in Westerly as a result of an ongoing fight. Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Schaefer is live in Groton, Connecticut, where the suspect appeared this afternoon. Brittany? Well, Mike Shannon, according to court documents, Louis Sanius Jr. was seen entering this corner apartment. He then went up into the heat ducts and fell through the ceiling of apartment 91. Louis Sanius Jr. showing no emotion as he faces charges connected to the murder of his cousin. Monday, the 31 year old was arraigned on charges of criminal mischief and resisting arrest. Sanius evaded police for a week after they say he shot Vincent Sebastian at this home in Westerly. Stanius was caught in an apartment complex in Groton after someone recognized him from police photos. Jennifer Robinson lives in the complex and took this video of him being taken into custody. All I heard was them like screaming him to get down, you know, and I heard a big crash, but like it was, it was scary because it was scary because it was right there and there was like guns right there. He is being held on $1 million bond and 500000 surety bail. Stanius' family were in court Monday. They declined to comment, but as he left court, they wished him well. Insanius waived extradition to Rhode Island, but will be held in Connecticut until he faces charges out of Mashantucket on the 19th. New at 6, hear from a woman who lives in this building. For now, live in Groton, Brittany Schaefer, Eyewitness News. No details tonight on how police captured the man suspected of a deadly shooting in Westerly. Today, the suspect went before a judge in Groton, Connecticut. Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Schaefer was at his arraignment and talked to neighbors in the apartment building where he was caught over the weekend. Well, according to court documents, someone recognized Louis Sanius Jr. from police photos. They then called 911 and caught him in this end apartment. A neighborhood is on edge after a wanted killer crashes through the ceiling of an apartment unit. Scary, really scary for me. You know, like I said, I'm glad I wasn't here to be in this situation. All I heard was them like screaming him to get down, you know, and I heard a big crash, but like. It was, it was scary because it was scary because it was right there and there was like guns right there. You understand your rights, sir. Louis Sanius Jr. was arraigned on Connecticut charges this afternoon. He crossed state borders after police say he killed his cousin in Westerly. The manhunt for the 31 year old lasted a week. Sanius was caught in an apartment complex in Groton Saturday. Jennifer Robinson lives in the complex and tells me it's hard to be here after what happened. That's yeah, really, really scary that it's that close to home. I don't, I don't even like being here. I'm glad he's gone, but I'm really glad they found him. Insanius is being held on $1 million bond and $500,000 surety bail. He is due back in court in Rhode Island for his first-degree murder charge on March 4th. In Groton, Brittany Schaefer, Eyewitness News.